los verán pistear. Bienvenidos a un nuevo video, una nueva reacción. Estamos aquí para reaccionar a esto de Peso Pluma. Vamos a ver qué tal está. Hi guys, I'm Peso Pluma and we're gonna talk about my new album Exodus with Variety. It's very different uh, Exodus from Genesis, you know. I think I reach some maturity in, in my vocals and I think uh, from every day and from every artist that I collaborate with, I learn something new from every one of them and, try, and I, I, I just try to grab those little things, those inspirations from the studio and just bringing it to my music. One song can be done in five minutes, one song can be done in two hours, depending on how we are feeling. For example, Solicitado. I think it's a very special song from the album because its own name uh, says what am I talking about, no? Uh, I think it's the requested one. From having nothing from, to have it all, everything changes in your life, no? And I think in my life everything changed and I wanted people to see both sides of the coins and why am I acting the way I am now. It's just being requested by everyone now that things are going very well, now that I'm a famous person, now everybody looks up to you or bigger artists want to collaborate with you when, when back in the day it wasn't nothing like that. I'm just giving a response of why am I acting like that. Every song has a different process, but when I'm doing regional and, and Mexican music, I always have my group with me so I can hear their opinions about their instruments of what they do better, you know, and, and I think that's very comfortable for me, uh, being in the studio with them and, and just having their opinion to make the song better. Right now we are a group of nine members. It started with my compadre Lalito, who's a friend of mine from, from years ago, and then I met Parca, who's now the musically director from the band, and from there Uh, we all three decided who was going to be in the project and who was not. And the real important thing here is that in, in every rehearsal, in every stage we perform, we feel very familiar. And this feels like a family, not like a band or a group, you know. I think that's the most important part of the group, that we all have chemistry and we all get together. If you are used to hear to Peso Pluma songs and the Mexican uh, music, Uh, I always use Tololoche. In this song, we replaced it well, with, with an actual electric bass, and the ones who, who knows about this kind of instruments is gonna like it a lot. This mysterious sound, it was just vibing in the studio. I remember I was with Neto, who's my producer, a Grammy winner too, from Genesis. We were in the studio vibing, and we were trying to master and mix uh, Rosa Pastel from Genesis which was uh, Jaciel Nunez's collaboration in that album. And we were trying to make it different. I was visualizing this kind of angels in the back with that song, because it's a real beautiful melody. And I was kind of hearing these backgrounds like in my head, not in the song. And I was just telling Neto, I hear this, like, how, how can we make it happen? And, and we started playing with different effects, we started playing with different things in the computer, and we did that actual sound, and from there, everybody wanted to do it, and everybody uh, wanted to put that on their music. I think we, we trademarked that, and, and that's, a, that's our trademark, that's Peso Pluma trademark, and we should be proud of other upcoming artists doing it as well. En mi cabeza, lo que me enseñó. For example, there's a lot of songs that were shown to me, like the Cardi B one, that was shown to me from her producers, and I love the song. Whatever is happening in the industry right now, it was gonna be the perfect mix of, bo of both worlds, and Cardi is just a lovely person who gave me that opportunity, and I'm really grateful. <laughs> just a vibe. Her producers uh, sent me the song and I loved it and I even loved more the, the fact that she was singing in Spanish because it was it was gonna be easier for me. It is one of my favorite uh, songs from the album, from the whole album. I would put it on my top three. So Hollywood is a song written by Esteban Plazola. I know him since we were 18 years old. 
Now he, he just signed to my label. He's doing real great things. He's working on his album. This is a cover, actually. It's actually the first cover that I put in one of my albums. We put our Peso Pluma sound in it. We did our own production, and we just made it a thousand times better from, from what it was. And the lyrics talk by, talk by itself. We are talking about reality and how our lives went through this process of being famous and getting money and getting whatever we wanted since we were kids and how we looked at it now. Eyes is a, it's a very special song because it was one of the last ones to be on the album. This song is just so special for me. It has this intro by Ric Flair. From the lizard shoes, huh? About 700 bucks. Did a Rolex watch. Ric Flair, who was a big inspiration for me when I was growing up too, watching the WWE and just the, the drip that he had and all these luxury things that, that he showed us. I just put him in the song because the, that's what the song talks about, you know, that now that I'm wearing diamonds, everybody wants to wear diamonds. Everybody's trying to copy what, what the project is looking like, and no matter what they copy or how much they copy, they're never going to be Peso Pluma. Genesis was the beginning of everything, the beginning of a new era in Mexican music. It was just a monster, a big monster that came into the global charts and took over every genre. And, and I think last year, Genesis marked a before and an after. This is a total evolution. This is Mexican revolutionary. This is the next step. I think Exodo is opening doors. That's why it's named. We are opening doors for Mexican music and, and, and upcoming artists to be even more global than Mexican music is right now. Ah, ahí está. Bueno, hablando un poquito de las diferentes canciones del álbum, un poquito ahí este, mencionando cositas de cada una. Colaboraciones, este, Las colaboraciones, la top 3 que me la puso ahí. Ojo, ojo, eh, ojo. ojo con eso. No, no sé por qué, pero la puse en top 3. Solo voy a dejar el dato ahí y tal cual. Pero, Igual es muy buena. Pero muy buena la canción, canción con Cardi B también es muy buena. A mí es me gusta muy mucho. Top, es muy buena. Como muy dijo, muy buena. es lo mejor de los dos ahí, de los dos mundos sí. tal cual. Eh, este, es una evolución. Bien. Ya lo dijo. Tal cual. Es una Genesis Éxodo y, y quién sabe qué va a seguir después. A ver qué más. Bien. Pues nada, es todo por la reacción de hoy. Recuerden suscribirse al canal, dejar sus comentarios y nos seguir en nuestras redes sociales y a nuestras otras reacciones y esperen más. Nos vemos. Y así yo podré ver si terminaré cantando en escenario o terminaré volviendo para el barrio.